Yes, yeah, so I'm back in this original spot. Yeah. I'm officially back. <laughs> For uh, now. And, and we're back with Monday Night Raw Recap. Yeah. So. We, miss, we missed all the other recaps, especially um, yeah, we just Royal missed, Rumble. Yeah, last week in Royal Rumble, but Too we busy. watched it, so. Too busy. Just didn't feel like doing a recap, so. But. Let's see, let's see. We started off raw with um, Stephanie McMahon. And then, of course, she's saying welcome to Monday Night Raw. And then out comes Becky Lynch. And she's limping. She's got a brace on one of her legs. Yep. yep. She's just decided to um, destroy Becky, uh, Ronda Rousey. What? There's another Becky Lynch? <laughs> and then... um. Pretty much what Stephanie was trying to say is she didn't want to do this, but um, she's going to have to suspend her if Becky doesn't want to see a doctor to check out her knee. Then Becky yeah. flips out and starts beating the crap out of Stephanie McMahon and all the, the job or security guards and stuff. Yeah. So this is crazy in the beginning of Raw. Yeah. Then, Ronda Rousey, then Ronda Rousey shows up in the middle, shows up in the ring. And she's facing uh, Liv Morgan. Oh, well, yeah. Because it was before that. It was um, while it came back on. It was um, Becky getting escorted out. And she made it on the backstage. And Ron was just saying about she's going to be her at WrestleMania. And then she's coming out for her match against Liv Morgan. Which wasn't even long. It was short. Respect. But then she calls, and then she calls out Sarah Logan. Sarah Logan shows up, so there's another Ronda Rousey match, and she easily defeats Sarah Logan. And then she calls out Ruby, but Ruby just hops on the edge of the ring and then just wa uh, walks away. Yeah. So and then, that's pretty crazy. And then it was um an interview and Ruby. Like, why did you, why did you run away from uh, Ronda Rousey? He goes, I didn't run away. My girls needed me, and my squads always stick together. I can beat Ronda, and it's gonna be for the title. But not right now. My girls need me. Something like Ronda wouldn't understand. Yeah. So. And then you got a team. That's like a. Fatal Four, Fatal Four Week Tag Team for the number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team titles. One of the members was Heavy Machinery. Yep. And then you got Lucha House Party and Lucha. Lucha. Yeah. And then you got Revival. And then B Team, B Team, go, go, go. Yeah, no, no, go, go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, hasn't B Team now become D Team? Mm. But anyway, we really thought Heavy Machine was going to win because they were really, I mean, you got the worm going. <laughs> yeah. And, but, of course, the Revival won. The yeah. number one contenders. Really? Yeah. And then you have, um, that's not really important, right? This is this little thing with Zack Ryder. After that was Zack Ryder and Hawkins in the back. Hawkins is pretty much saying, Why do you want... I know it's all They're funny. both losers. Because it's like, we, You're going to lose to be with me because I have a 200 loss... Loss and then thing. Like, Yeah, and then last week when they were in their match, they the um person spelt Zack Ryder's name wrong. So pretty much what? They're going to team up and be the loser team? I don't even know. That's possible. But Zach's telling him, he's like, we used to be really good. We were the youngest tag team champions and all of that. But yeah. enough of that. We had a women's tag team match. Yep. And it's the qualifier rounds for the elimination one. And it's Banks and Bailey versus... Nikki, uh, Nikki Cross and Alicia Fox, and before even the match started, Fox and Nikki were beating the living crap out of, uh, out of Sasha and Bailey. 
but Bailey and Sasha still wanted to fight. Yeah. And, and it ended up still yeah. being the match because they still arrived. And they actually beat Nikki Cross and Alicia Fox. Two yeah. crazies. Bailey. What a surprise. Yeah. Bailey did a lot. Did a lot. Yeah. Because Sasha was still trying to get to the ring. So, Bailey. Bailey. I mean, they really want Bailey and Sasha, I think. I hear that. Because they're going to be the first woman tag team. You sure? I want. I want Ioi Shoari and Kari Shane to win that. I like them. They're good wrestlers. All right, our next match oh, with, man. with uh with the with the help with Road Dog in the corner. It's J E double F J A double R E double T Jeff Cherry. <laughs> of course. Versus Elias. Yep. And of course, in the beginning, it was freaking um. Them singing the song and stuff. Sing, singing their theme song. Then yeah. they did their little walk that they do. Yeah. Which the is, Ric Flair walk. Which almost just looks like Ric Flair's walk. Kept saying, if you got two words for it, you can <laughs> have the audience. That's sing. that's Road Dog. He's the member of DX. Yeah. yeah. And then Elias shows up. Yeah. But I feel like this is kind of like, yeah, it was kind of like a little fun little twist at the Royal Rumble. Yeah. But it's like being play out because I know, if, like, cause, but Elias won. He easily won that. Of course. But then again, Jeff Jarrett's old. Yeah, but at the end, Jeff Jarrett actually got his revenge and smacked Elias with the guitar. Yeah, but it didn't break. Oh no, that's the, fu- the funniest thing. And then you have Finn Balor. He was able to compete. Yeah. But Bobby Lashley didn't want to fight Finn. No. In fact, he had his little shrimp Leo Rush fight. And if he could beat Leo Rush, then yeah, he could qualify or be worthy enough to uh, challenge Bobby for his title. So, Cuz Finn basically didn't win with, uh, didn't win his uh, Universal Championship back. So, he just got to go for the inter- not the Intercontinental belt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before the match even started, Bobby Lashley started beating the living crap out of fit poor Finn. Yeah, because Leo was... Softening him up for Leo. So, it is, does Leo suck so bad on 205 Live that he, ha- that, that he has to have his almighty Bobby Lashley rough up Finn Balor, f- soften him up so he can make an easy win? Which he even fails, and Finn actually wins. Yep, because he sucks. So does this shrimp. So he gets a title opportunity because Bobby. Well, unless Bobby wants it because he did say he has to prove to him. And then we have backstage with Dana Brooke and Natalia. Yep. Yeah. Which I didn't recognize Natalia. I she, did. Because she had different. She was wearing casual clothes and a different hairstyle. It was pretty much Dana Brooke was trying to talk to her, but it was funny at the end because she goes. She was wearing earphones. She wasn't listening. <laughs> she was wearing earphones. So she challenges Nat. So she challenges N- N- uh, Natalia for a match next week. Yeah, yeah, she wants to prove that she's better than Natalia. And that she deserves to be in the division. I don't like Dana Brooke. She was never really mm. that good of a character. I don't know if she was uh, ever any good in NXT. So yeah. All right. So. Oh, and even after that, we had Paige, and she just only showed up to um, yes. announce fighting with her family movie. Yep. And then after that, we have a moment of bliss. Yeah. And her special guest is EC3, and basically the whole point of that was doing the sex joke. She and then, was freaking weird with EC3, right? Yeah, it was just nothing but sex joke, saying that he has that he has a big bank account, which we already know. I don't think that's uh, a f- that's good for a PG era. Yeah. But luckily for us, Dean Ambrose shows up. Yeah, but Nia was there. Yeah, I was like, she was talking to Nia. I was like, no one cares about what bra brand for them. It's about me. Mm-hmm. Everybody's talking about me. Talking about I was in the first... I was in the men's rumble. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, Nia, you were in the Men's Royal Rumble, but you know what? 
you got super kicked in the face, RKO'd, and 619 yep. and you still got eliminated. Yep. And she's like... And you showed up at number 30 by, ki by kicking poor our truth to the curb, and you still lost. Yep. And she's like, and me and Tamina are in the tag team title elimination chamber. Because oh. she beat a lot. Because she beat Bliss. you. Well, and Bliss. And Bliss is like, well, that was Mickey's fault. Well, anyways, yeah. Dean shows up and says, we know why you're, you're, at, why you're out here, Naya. You have a crush on me. And then he starts focusing <laughs> his attention on EC3. Yep. I'm trying to infuse him and saying, what does EC3 say? Was it you see one and two? Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that ended up being a match, and we already know EC three is gonna win because the rules are the noob guy that shows up in the thing automatically has to win. Yeah. Unless you're Kerr Hawkins. Sure. Yeah. But we know we already know the real reason why Dean Ambrose is losing. Yeah. He's gonna quit W he's quitting WWE. He already filed yeah. his um resignation. Yeah. Go on, Ashley, tell the fans. What? They already know Dean's leaving. Hey, he probably wants to settle down with probably Renee Young and maybe finally have some kids, even though Ashley'd be like, nah. Maybe he's <laughs> Or maybe he's gonna do like The Rock and all the other wrestlers. He's gonna go in the movies. Maybe he's gonna be the new Steve he for Blues Clues. Uh, you you won't watch that, uh, Ashley. You would watch it. He well, he probably wouldn't be too. I don't know. No, he would not be too fit. crazy. He would not fit. He'd be too crazy. But anyway, of course he should do one. He did a re-roll because uh, he countered Dean's little move and pinned him. Oh, here's the main event for tonight: Kurt Angle and Braun Strowman versus McIntyre and Corbin. Yeah, get these hands. Oh yes. yeah. Yeah. Because earlier on, we, probably, we basically forgot Kurt Angle was going to do some kind of announcement. And then McIntyre and Corbin showed up. And they inter they interrupted, calling poor Kurt Angle, our, w the, our Hall of Famer, uh, old and he's useless. And they wanted to end up starting a fight and then Strowman shows up. Yep, they used a couple of Kurt's moves on him. Yeah. Of course, because they're gay. Cheated, too. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, of course, that match... The bad guys won. The bad guys won by DQ because Braun Strowman is looking at Corbin. And Corbin's like, you can touch me, you'll get DQ'd. And still... Wrong! Yep. We will, DQ'd. He, they probably would have won because he came in and he yanked him and there you go. And that's how he... Yep. And, um... Crazy. Of course, Braun Strowman was going after Corbin, and Drew McIntyre got him, but then eventually yeah. Angle and Braun Strowman stand tall at the end, so. Yeah, but that was awesome what Braun did. He gave him those hands. Get these hands. Yep. Yeah, you want to know something? This whole entire time, we only see half of Missy in the corner. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but... Uh, well, that was Moon and April. What did I think? About it. What did I think about it? I thought it was interesting. What do you think yeah, about? It's okay. Yeah, but what do you think about da uh, Daniel Br uh, Daniel Bryan's new belt that's made of one hundred percent weed? What? I want to see someone beat Daniel Bryan, win the title, and then there'll be a segment going. He doesn't have Daniel Bryan's title. He has the original title, and he's like, "Oh, well, guess what? Snoop Dogg was there, and..." Well, he didn't. He said he didn't have any weed, so we had to smoke this since this was made of this was made of weed, and basically we smoked the whole belt. So we had to get the old one. Yeah, I don't know. It was interesting tonight. But yeah, let us know. What do you thought? What Are you did glad you... that um Jeff, Jeff he's back and back. he's not any back? Any Ambrose fans? There. Any Dean Ambrose fans that are sad that he's leaving. I'm yeah. pretty. No, I'm pretty glad that he's leaving. I'm not. He can. <laughs> he can actually fulfill. Actually, have a fulfilling career. So maybe outside of WWE. Um. 
Do you think actually Becky Lynch will be Ronda Rousey if she does wrestle her at WrestleMania beat her? It's possible. We already know she's being we already know she's being Ronda Rousey because Ronda Rousey's saying or after WrestleMania she's leaving WWE. Are you glad that Revival's going against um Glorious team for the titles? <sighs> revival Revival Revival. Um who do you think's gonna be the first ever women's tag team champs? Kari Shay. I like a lot of teams in there. No, no. I'm going to be pissed if Bailey and Sasha win it. So, and, um, Booby Lashley. Yeah, and there's a little shrimp. Ugh. Who, do you like this EC3 guy? That's why I don't. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> um, yeah, let us know. You like to know. You like to know. You might like. You might like each of three. Yeah. Well, here's another big important question. When are they going to give Braun Strowman a title shot? And that actually is a have big him win? question. When are they ever going to let Braun Strowman get his push? Yeah. This is this is becoming the year of Strowman getting screwed hard. Like, come on. Like, they are they afraid that no one's going to get it from him if he gets the title? Why aren't, they, why aren't they getting him the title? I think it's because that WrestleMania, that because of WrestleMania, that's probably the reason why they Maybe. don't want to give him the title. Remember, his tag team partner was a, a kid from the fan, was a, a fan. Yeah. The only thing he pretty much won was that Money in the Bank. And, and he lost. Yeah. And the tag team chance, but that was that long. Nope. He failed nope. to cash it in. But that was funny with that little skit he did with it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, here's my tag team partner who comes out of little kid. But yeah, it's just why? Dean leave. I heard Shinsuke Nakamura is probably leaving. I heard AJ Styles might be leaving. How many more wrestlers are leaving? Does WWE suck that bad? Well, luckily for us we have NXT. Yeah, I got NXT. Is that what they're doing? They're just trying to bring in some new ones and push out some of the old ones, even though it's going to probably make their ratings go down because of Dean Ambrose leaving, AJ Styles leaving. Yeah. So. I don't um, think the the ratings even counts anymore because I think the ratings have been just steady. I don't see any like anything that's bringing it up. NXT is way better. Honestly, it is. It feels faster. It feels more real. It actually is way 100% more entertaining. Because they go into to the fights, that's why. I like more of the people there. Yeah, you yeah. like uh, Alistair Black. Al Alistair. Okay. Why do you say Alistair? <laughs> it's Alistair Black. You like the War Raiders? Oh, of course. The Viking guys? Yeah. But, yeah. And then we got all the other kids. The other people, there's Velveteen Dream, and you got uh, yeah, Ricochet. No. Ricochet, yeah, but not Velveteen. Ugh. You like Velveteen. No, no I don't like him. Even if he lost. But. And then you got your Adam Cole. Plus, there's two five Bay. too. They got some good ones. Yeah. Uh, two five. The only person I like in there is. See, you can't even think of it right at the top of your head. Do not defend it, Ashley, if you don't like it's it. It's just Cedric Alexander. Yeah, pretty much. At least, uh, yeah, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's not NXT. I know, but I'm saying, like, that's... Unless, like, well, if he ever goes to Raw Smack, then matter if I have boots on. So sure. I don't wrestle. Well, you don't want to get your, you stub your feet or have your feet stomped by someone. Yeah, so... Make sure you like. Comment. Subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.